I suppose it's not an ideal love story, but it's the only love story I've ever known. I met her at a loft party that a friend of a friend of a classmate was hosting. She was dressed in bright red chiffon and was sipping something clear and bubbly and was complaining to any female that would listen about how dull it was and how the drink was so fucking low quality, but she still sipped it and still cringed with every gulp. Her name was Lillian Lucy Jiff, and she was just beautiful enough for me to call her beautiful, but not so beautiful that I would have shaky, clammy hands like I sometimes get when I talk to impossibly gorgeous women. She was filthy rich and had that certain je ne sais quoi that only comes from being wealthy enough to get away with most anything. I knew immediately that she knew everything she was and everything she could afford to become. After a brief pep talk from my friend Dave, the motivational speaker, I grew some balls and asked her for a dance. She looked me over, up and down, and half her lip twitched, which may have been out of amusement or embarrassment, I still don't know. But she said yes. So I took her hand and we danced, and for me, it was love at first sight. On Sunday, I decided to kiss her, but I smelled something on her that I didn't quite like. It made me woozy, but Lillian Lucy Jiff was Lillian Lucy Jiff, so I kissed her anyway. And the next thing I know, I'm being injected with the emergency EpiPen that my mom makes me carry. And then she gave me a very nasty look and slapped me across the face and called me an idiot. And then she told me that her father was Mr. Jiff, as in Mr. Jiff, the founder and CEO of the Jiff Peanut Butter Company. And all of a sudden, the absurd name and her $3,000 purse and her absolute lack of interest in working or cooking or making an effort of any sort made sense. And then I started to cry because I realized that even though I love this absurd and ridiculous woman, I could never be with her without constantly fearing for my life. So I guess Shakespeare had it right. The course of true love never did run smooth. Most times, it's a little bit crunchy. <laughs>